<laughs> French Romance Countrymen. <laughs> we are invited here today because, as many of you know, I've been working on an audiobook project. A listening party is gathered in the suburbs of Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown. This wind of change blowing through Africa, as I have said before, is no ordinary wind. It is a raging hurricane against which the old order cannot stand. We intend to launch these audiobooks in many African languages. We'll have a situation where now we can tell our own stories. Tech entrepreneur Herman Chinri Hesse is renowned for establishing the largest software company in Ghana, the Soft Tribe, and is now on a mission to keep Africa's oral tradition alive. African Echoes came about because I myself am a slow reader. In today's world, the oral tradition can be translated into electronic audio. So suddenly we've, we have Africa's oral tradition on steroids, which is really what we are trying to achieve here. African Echoes is an audiobook app due to launch in March this year that will feature African classics and unpublished works transcribed and translated into multiple African languages by the production team. African Echoes is a project to allow people who have stories from all walks of life across Africa to tell their story, aka we will scribe the story, something they might not be able to do themselves, and we will package it, translate into many African languages, and launch it on an African Echoes app where people can pay for and download these stories. It will also allow the 50% of Africa that can't read and write to consume stories from other African countries in their own languages. The cry of the muezzin cuts through the air, calling the faithful to prayer. It's a cool afternoon. 89-year-old Frank Carefa Smart's colorful life, working in New York during the civil rights movement and across West Africa in the diamond trade, has been adapted into an audiobook. Aren't you happy about that? Story? When people listen to my book, they should have a feeling of a oneness in Africa, a oneness of the African nations, and what we share in common that should inspire the youth. You find um, in the Sierra Leonean context, we have a lot of uh, the elderly local communities that have over the years been able to build local skills and local content, developing tools that you can use not only at home but within the community. But there has been a lot of challenge in being able to pass on those skills. So with the tool as an African Echoes, the opportunities are really endless. The app will be available on Android, with each story costing a dollar to download. In certain parts of rural Africa, people may not have one Wi-Fi to download, and two may not also have access to mobile money. Even in those communities, we came up with a model where somebody will call an agent, will come to the city, get into a Wi-Fi zone, download uh, x times number of x number of apps and have the ability when he goes back to his village to sell to other people for now the production team is working out of herman's home studio in freetown with the long-term plan to set up pop-up studios in remote villages and cities across the continent i think african echoes is connecting africa in a novel and unique way the stories we are going to produce are coming from all over Africa. The production is coming from all over Africa, not city to city. It's mobile phone to mobile phone, so village to village too, which is quite novel. And uh, the whole world gets to watch and hear African stories from Africans across the continent.